what's going on, it's Tuba Billy. Man, the saga of the dead batteries continues. So, rewind, so motorcycle battery was, di was dead it was a little over a week ago. So I figured the battery was just was just dead. Like it was a ba the battery went bad. They, they go bad after a while, and I couldn't remember when, if I had replaced it. Um, and then, uh, the, then the next day I went to go try to cut the grass. Well, the battery on my mower was dead. I was like, oh, you're kidding me. So then I'm like, all right, so we got this all settled. Well, I was gone all week at a competition up in Atlanta, so I came back yesterday and get on my motorcycle to go start her up. The battery's dead again. It's like, are you kidding me? What in the world is going on? Luckily, I was parked at the top of a hill, so I just rolled it and kind of kick-started it, or roll-started, whatever. Kicked it in gear and got it going. I know that's not the best for it, but hey, I had to go home. Um... So I get home and bat I mean, battery's dead. It just like, it won't crank, lights won't come on, same same old, same old. I say, like, what in the world? So I just wasted $120 on a new battery when it wasn't the battery. Bummer. Well, I think it may be the stator, which is not fun to replace. It's got, you gotta take a lot of stuff apart to get to it. And I don't really have the time to do that. You know, this is very much a commuter bike. It's not a hobby bike. I I want to just get on and go to my destination. But now I gotta figure out when to take it to the shop. So I want them to, you know, diagnose it officially. So I know exactly what it is, if it's a stator, or if it's a relay, or if it's just a short in a wire, I don't know. Um, so I gotta, you know, gotta do that and probably find time to let them take it to them, let them keep it and fix it. Meanwhile, this is my only mode of transportation. Uh, we've got this in a minivan, and my wife needs a minivan every day. So it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be interesting here if uh, we need to take it to the shop but i mean it's one of those things that goes bad i mean i'm running on uh let's see 60 almost 62,000 miles and um i think things wear out i've tried to try to get the maintenance up on this but 60, 62,000 miles in, you know, less than three years. Well, I guess about four years. Yeah, yeah, about in 2018. Um, that, that's a lot of miles for a motorcycle. So, when it continues, in the meantime, I'm just going to keep putting it on the charger at home. Because, you know, I got to... You gotta keep driving. You gotta keep going places. And um, no rest for the weary, including motorcycles. Oh man, but anyway, such is life. Just be excellent to each other. To a Billy, signing out. God be with you till we meet again.